Okay, welcome back. This is part two of my uh, CAPTCHA creation system. Um, and in the last video, what we did is we got uh, we started our uh, create image function. And you notice right here that I threw in some more colors. Uh, I threw in a white, a darkish kind of gray, and a blue. Uh, now these are the same colors that you saw at the beginning of the series when I showed you what we're going to be making. Uh, and these are the values for the red, green, and blue for each of those. Uh, the first line is white, the middle line is gray, and the bottom line is blue. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to what's called fill the image. And what that's going to do is it's pretty much just going to set the background color. So we want to say image, fill, and then bracket, or, uh, parentheses. And this takes four parameters. Now the first one is our image, obviously. Um, sorry. The second and third parameters are the X and Y that our color is going to start at. So you definitely want to just set these to zero, both of them, just like that. And then you want to set this last one to your color, which I'm just going to set mine to blue. So that's just like that. So that pretty much just sets the background color of the image. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually display the image now. So to display the image, we say image, and you have three options here. You can display it as a JPEG, a PNG, or a GIF, a GIF. Uh, so it's just JPG, that's for JPEG, and then PNG, and then GIF. Now, the PNG and the GIF, the GIF, they're both very decent quality, and the, uh, um, the, the, uh, uh, JPG, sorry, I don't know why I forgot that, the JPG or the JPEG is very bad quality, so I will, uh, show you all of these just to, uh, help you fi figure out which one you want. Now, I go with the PNG just because it's personal preference, uh, because I like the PNG format for some reason. Uh, I just do. Uh, so the only thing we put in here is just our image. Now, right after this, we want to say image uh, destroy. So we're going to destroy the image. And all that takes is the image. So if we save it and we refresh our page, you can see that we now have our uh, background color. So you can whatever color you put yours as, that's what our color is going to be. So now what we're going to do is before I can actually show you the quality of the image, uh, we have to have something inside of the image to show you. So we're going to set the uh, the text, our our, our capture value. Uh, we're going to set that inside of the image. So we want to say uh, image string, and this takes uh, I think that's seven parameters. Um, and the first one is our image. So we want to say image, and the next the next two are uh, the x and y coordinates to, or sorry, not the x and y coordinates. It only takes five. I don't, God, I'm making mistakes here. Sorry. Uh, so the next one is the size of the uh, text. Now the largest that this can be is five, which is what you saw at the beginning. That's the largest it can be. Uh, but I will show you later how to change that to, uh, to have bigger text or larger text. Now the next two parameters are the x and y that it's going to be at. And I'm just going to set those both to zero for now. And the last one, or the, uh, the next one, is the, uh, what we're going to be displaying. So that's just our value. Excuse me, some. That's just our value. And the last one is the color we're going to have it. Now I'm just going to set mine to black. So that's uh, all seven parameters. So we refresh, you can see we have our text here, and if we keep refreshing, it's different every time. Now, um, I did change my mind in between making videos that I want to set the text for this to, uh, to or the width for this image to uh, 100, not 150. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to set the uh, X and Y. Now the X, if you don't know, is the vertical, or is the uh, horizontal, so that's left to right. That's the left to right value, so if we put this as a positive value, it's going to go over this way. And if we put it as a negative value, it's going to go over this way. Uh, if you set the Y is the vertical, so that's up and down. Uh, if you set it to positive, it's going to go up. and Or if you set it to positive, it's going to go down. And if you set it to negative, it's going to go up. Which is actually reverse of how it is in math, which is weird. Um, which actually, I don't think you can set it to a negative. Uh, so my X, I'm going to set to 15. And I'm going to save it and refresh, and you can see that it scoots it over 15 pixels. So it's very nice. 
uh, and I'm going to set my Y to 7. Now, if you're using these image sizes, you want to use this 15 and 7 because that's about the center of the image. So, right there. Uh, so, you, right now, you can see that uh, the image quality is just fairly decent. I mean, it's only text, but the image quality is fairly decent. And that's because we're using a PNG. Now, I'm going to show you the GIF. And if I refresh, you see there's not very much difference at all. Um, so, yeah, so there's not very much difference at all. They're both very high quality. But if I set this to a JPG, to a JPEG, we refresh and do JPG, JPEG. Oops, okay. So you can see right there that the image quality is much worse. Um, and when we get into adding lines and everything going through it, it just looks horrible. So don't use a JPEG, use a PNG or a GIF. So just to show you, you can see it right there. And then, wow, so much better. It's amazing. Um, so, yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start making our, our lines that are going to go through our image. Now, if you want, which I might show, but I might not, um, is you can put this in a loop. You can generate random values and put it in a loop to uh, make the lines all random and everything. But I'm just going to show you how to create the, li the lines. And uh, I probably won't show you how to uh, make them random and everything. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so to create a line, we want to say image line. Now, the image line function takes six parameters. Now, the first one, as usual, is the image itself. Now, the next four are X and Y coordinates. Um, now, a line consists of two points, a start point and an end point, and then the line goes from in between those two points. So if we set the start point of the uh, first point, if we set the x and y of the first point to zero zero, that's going to be in the very top left corner, right up here. And if we set the last, uh, the points for the last point uh, to the width and the height, it'll be all the way down here in this corner. So that'll create a diagonal line. Uh, so I will show you how to do that as well. Um, so, uh, so we're going to do that. Uh, but first what we're going to do is we're going to create a vertical image. So it's going to be an up and down, uh, or not an image, a line. It's going to be an up and down line. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set our X coordinate to zero. So it's going to start at the very top of our image. Now, uh, we want to do a little bit of math inside of here. Now, this is so it'll set the image, uh, the Y, to the very middle of the image, no matter what height you have, uh, so it's kind of dynamic. So you, you can have your height and your width and your height is whatever you want, and it'll automatically set that. So we want to just set that to uh, height divided by two. So it's automatically going to put it in the very center of the image, no matter what your width is. Uh, now the next two parameters are the x and y coordinates for the second uh, point. So that'll be at the bottom of the image. So once again, we want to set the. Uh, sorry, I uh, that's going to seem all retarded because it's getting a phone call. Um, so I paused it. Um, so well, I totally forgot what I was saying. So let's restart. So what we're doing now is we're setting the the bottom line for the image or for the line, uh, the bottom point for the line, and uh, so we want to set that in the middle of the image. So we want to. Um, we want to actually set this to the height, height, um, or, uh, no, God, not the height, sorry, the width. I'm making all kinds of mistakes. I'm thrown off by that call. Um, so we want to set this to the width, and, uh, this, uh, the, the next, uh, value for, the, the, uh, y value for the coordinate, we want to set to the, uh, the height divided by two, once again. So we'll set that. And the last parameter is the color of the line. So I'm just going to set mine to gray. So if we refresh, you see we now have a line going through the very center of our image, going all the way across. And it's there every time we refresh. So it's going directly in the middle of the image. Now to create the uh, vertical line, that was the horizontal line. Uh, so to create the vertical line, 
we want to just copy and paste that and we just have to change some of the uh, values. I guess I'm going to stop this here because I'm running over my time limit. Um, so in part three, we'll continue on with creating our lines and probably finish up the series. Uh, so check out part three.